Thanks for staying with us on News 360. It's time for mission brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, the UK aid and the EU. 39 pupils of the Naga Junior High School in the Kasina Nankana district dropped out of school in the 2019-2020 academic year as against the 96 pupils that were enrolled in the 2017-2018 academic year, at least 10 of the total number were teenage girls who either dropped out of school as a result of child or forced marriages and teenage pregnancy. Well, the trend is negatively affecting the girl-child education in that community. We're bringing you uh, that story in our subsequent bulletins later. But let's move on and look at some more on mission tonight and the days of treating sick children and adults in same ward in the Bungo District Hospital in the Upper East Region have come to an end. Why? Now this follows the construction of a children's ward by some philanthropists following TV3's Mission Ghana report in 2018. The Bongo District Hospital was elevated from a health center to a hospital by the Ghana Health Service in 1996. This was to position the facility for the growth in population which currently stands at 104,000 inhabitants. Mission Ghana in 2018 reported about how children were combined with female adults in one ward in the female ward of the hospital. This was due to the absence of a separate ward for children. The situation exposed the children to some other infections due to their weak immune systems. The most difficult aspect was the fact that usually when the rainy seasons, which serves as a peak season where we have a lot of malaria, diarrhea diseases, respiratory tract infections, the place becomes choked because we were not having a separate ward for the kids. So we are forced to, those times, combine children with their mothers, especially those with similar conditions. We put them on the same bed because the district has a peculiar problem. The people usually have this issue of fear of the unknown. So usually when the place is overcrowded and you tend to refer them to the regional hospital, most of them, instead of going to the regional hospital, will go home. The reports by Mission Ghana Zubaida Ismail and Bright Nana Amfo, which aired on separate times, brought to the fore the quest for the construction of a children's ward for the hospital. Some philanthropists who are natives of Bongo district who saw that it was becoming too much and that we were losing lives unnecessarily. So they came to our aid and started to build a separate children's ward for the facility. The ward was inaugurated and handed over to the authorities of the hospital months later, creating room in the female ward. So assembly had made plans to put up a, a, a kids' ward. Fortunately, on our part, two citizens of Bongo District, Mr. Williams Amuna and uh, Simon Alangde, came to our aid. They together sourced funding and put up a, a children's ward. It has been completed and handed over to the, first, the, the, the Ghana Health Services. In fact, I must use your medium to commend Mr. Amuna Williams and Simona Langde and their other supporters or their financiers for coming to the aid of the district. With the construction of the new block, which has also been fitted with ultra-modern medical equipment, critical care is assured. We were also lucky. Um, there is an NGO called Thierry in the region who assisted us to write a proposal to another NGO in Germany who gave us a lot of equipment, beds, furniture, and some ultrasound machines to be able to finish the ward. So currently we have a very good children's ward, but unfortunately it's, uh, it will be interesting to note that that's why the fact that we have this big facility that contains over 43 beds for the children. This year, when the rainy season started, you realize that most of the beds are usually filled up to the extent that if you don't take time, within the shortest possible time, 
that very problem that we were running away from may crop up. So this 26 bed capacity female ward used to host 40 beds with at least 70 occupants on daily basis. But as you can see now, this place has been decongested, making space for free movement for both clients and medical personnel on duty. Meanwhile, the neonatal intensive care unit continues to operate with only one incubator. The facility in 2018 recorded zero neonatal mortality amidst the challenges. Initially, we were having a lot of uh, our newborns, especially the premature babies who were not surviving because we were not having facilities to be able to take care of them. With the onset of the newborn care unit, as low as 0 0.8 kilogram babies, are now surviving in the district. The medical superintendent, Dr. William Goodu, thanked TV3 Mission Ghana for broadcasting the challenges.